Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. Sometimes we want to conditionally route to another screen other than home screen on receiving of the sharing intent, just like WhatsApp, where WhatsApp shows contact list other than the messages screen. So in this video, let's learn how to implement that. So make sure to watch the video till the end. So let's get started with main function. So inside this main function, I have called this ensure initialize because I want to do some initialization before this run app method get called. And below this ensure initialize, I am calling this init method that I define here at the top. Inside this init method, I will be getting root name where we will be deciding the root name that will be shown as soon as the application is launched. Here I have created two constant home root and show data root. This home root will be the root name for the home screen that will be displayed as soon as the application is launched. Here I have created stateless widget for this home screen. It is defined using scaffold. And I have just shown this welcome message on the screen. Then I have defined the show data root constant. It will be root name for this show data screen. This screen will show data shared by users. Now here in this init method, I have just said this home root because by default I want to show this home screen. And here I have created another class. And in this class, I have defined two properties share text and root name that will be used further in this application. Now from this method, I am returning this init data object. Afterwards, here I will be writing logic to receive data from the receiving intent. And based on that data, this root name will be decided and the share text will be set. Here inside this main method, below this ensure initialize, I am getting this init data object. I am passing this init data to this my app widget. And then this init data is used inside this build method, where I have defined this material app. And inside this material app, I have defined two properties, initial root and on generate root. So in this initial root property, I am setting the root name. So the respective screen will be shown as soon as the application is launched. And inside this on generate root property, I have defined this callback handler. So inside this callback handler, we are checking the root name and based on that root name, we are navigating to the screen. So here I have already written logic for the home screen. Now we have already written logic to show home screen on starting of the application. Now let's write code to conditionally navigate to this show data screen on receiving of the intent. So first of all, we will divide this conditional routing in two parts. Whenever our application is closed and we want to receive intent and based on that receiving intent, our application should route to the show data screen. So let's write code for that inside this init method. Here I will write code to receive intent when application is closed. If you don't know how to receive sharing intent in Flutter, I have already created video on it. You can watch that video for more detail. Link is given in the description. Here let's write code to receive intent when application is closed. Using this get initial text, our application will receive share text. Now let's assign this value to string variable. Here I will check null value and based on that I will assign this value to this shared text variable. So here we will change root name as we have received the text from the receive intent. So here I will assign this show data root to this root name variable. Now inside this init method, we have written code to receive intent when our application is closed. Now based on that receive intent, we are setting the shared text and root name here. And that is we have set inside this init data object. Now we have to make change inside this on generate root callback handler. So here we will check the case for show data root. So let's write another case statement here. So here I will copy this return statement and inside this show data root, I will paste it as is. And here I will change this home screen to show data screen. And I will pass this share text to this show data screen. Now our application is ready to receive intent and conditionally navigate to other screen. Now let's close this application and test it. I will be sharing video URL from YouTube application. So let's open YouTube application. Here you can see conditional routing or application name is showing in sharing intent. On clicking of this application or application will be launched and it will navigate to show data screen and where we will be showing shared video URL. 
here you can see application is routed to show data screen and this shared data is displayed on this screen but this works only when the application is closed now let's write code when application is in memory that is application is already running so here we will be receiving intent so for that i will write code inside this init state method here i have written code to receive intent when application is in memory so using this get stream method we can receive intent for in memory apps let's define variable of type stream subscription here let's assign listen method value to, to this stream subscription we need to close this stream as soon as the activity is disposed otherwise it may create leaks so i am disposing this stream subscription inside this dispose method using the stream subscription dot cancel method now on the receiving of the text intent here we need to write logic to navigate to shared data screen so for that first of all i will define this global key here and this global key i will be using with this material app here i will set navigation key and for this navigation key i will be setting this key we just created above and using this key we can write code to conditionally route to another screen on the receiving of the intent so here i will be writing code to navigate to show data screen using this nav key here you can see this push named method is called on the nav key current state and to this push named method i have passed this show data root and i need to pass argument because i will be passing this shared text as an argument to this show data screen so for that i have defined another class show data argument inside this class i have just taken one property shared text now using this code our application will navigate to show data screen on the receiving of the intent but before that we need to make some changes inside this on generate root callback handler so here in this show data root i need to make some changes to navigate to show data root here i will check if condition if arguments are passed to this root then inside this if condition i will pass the argument to this material root here i have cast arguments to show data arguments and here we are passing the shared text using the argument now our code is ready to receive intent when application is in memory so let's check i am again restarting the application so it will show home screen i am sharing video url from youtube let's show this video url here you can see application is navigated to show data screen and here this video url is changed that's all for this video similar way you can implement conditional routing for file sharing if you want video on it please let me know in comment this source code is available on git link is given in the description if you have any issue or suggestion please comment below thanks for watching the video if you like this video please click on like button and do not forget to subscribe my channel